Hello friends, this video on Heron's formula part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. A triangular park ABC has sides 120, 120, 80 and 50 cm. So let this be a triangular side which has 3 sides 120, 80 and 50 all in meters. A gardener Dhania has put a fence all around it and also plant grass inside it. So he has put a fence over here and he has planted grass inside it. How much area does the he needs to plant? So we need to find the area of this. Plus find the cost of fencing. So see since the fence is for the perimeter, we have to find the cost of fencing. To, to do that, we have to find the perimeter. And the rate of fencing is given and please note it is in the per meter. It is not in the per meter square because fencing is for the perimeter, not for the area. Leaving a space of 3 meter wide for gate on one side. So let's suppose this space is making for gate. So first let's find perimeter. First let's find the cost of uh, whole fencing. So perimeter is what? Sum of all sides. It is A plus B plus C. That is nothing but 120 plus 80 plus 50 meter that is 250 meter correct this is the perimeter fence is what fence is the perimeter minus 3 meter because 3 meter is left for gate that is 250 minus 3 meter that is 247 meter what is the cost of fencing? Cost of fencing will be total fence meter or uh, fence length into cost of fencing per meter. And that is nothing but 247 is the fence length into cost of fencing rupees 20 per meter. Per meter meter gets cancelled and you saw this you get 4940 and then it's rupees. So that is the cost of fencing. First part is done. Second part is we have to find the area of this. To find the area of this we need to just apply the Heron's formula. First find A S. S is nothing but A plus B plus C by 2. That is A is 120, B is 80, C is by 2 and this is meter and that is nothing but 125 meter and area is nothing but root of s into s minus a s minus b s minus c put the values here 125 into 125 minus 120 125 minus 80 and 125 minus 50 and this will be meter square correct so you solve this so this becomes root of 125 into 125 minus 120 is 5 125 minus 80 is 45 and 125 minus 50 is 75 meter so the answer comes out to be 375 root 15 meter square. <coughs> Let's uh, find the area of this triangular plot where the ratio of the sides are given and the perimeter is given. So for Heron's formula, what is must is the length of the sides. But we don't know the length of the sides of this triangle ABC. Since the ratio is given, so let's assume sides to be 3x, 5x, 7x. So if you assume the sides to be 3x, 5x, 7x, then in that case the ratio is maintained, right? So if you say 3x by 5x by 7x, you get 3 is to 5 is to 7. So we assume that the sides are 3x, 5x, 7x. And what is given is perimeter, that is nothing but the sum of sides that value is given to be 300 meter. 
So you solve this, what you get is 5 plus 3, 8 plus 7, 15x is equal to 300 meter and x comes out to be 300 by 15, that is 20 meter. So if x is 20 meter, what is 3x? 3 into 20, that is 60 meter. 5x is what? 5 into 20, that is 100 meter. What is 7x? 7x is 7 into 20, that is 140 meter. So the sides are, instead of 3x, it is 60 meter. Instead of 5x, it is 100 meter now. Instead of 7x, it is 140 meter. So I have all the sides now. I can easily find the area. Area is root of s into s minus a, s minus b, s minus c. What is the value of s? s is perimeter by 2, that is 300 by 2, that is 150. Or I can also say s is a plus b plus c by 2, you will get 150 meter only. So you put the values here, that is root of 150 into 150 minus 60, s minus b, that is 150 minus 100, s minus c, 150 minus 140. You solve this, this becomes root of 1 and this will become meter square. This is a minute, uh, meter. So 150 into 90 into 50 into 10 meter square. There. And you solve this, you, be, you get 1500 root 3 meter square. So that is the area of this triangle. Okay. So the ratio of the sides were given and the total perimeter was given. So with that, first we found out the actual side's length. Once we found out the side's length, we could actually apply the Heron's formula to find the area of this triangle. A traffic signal board uh, indicating school ahead, this is a, a traffic signal board, is an equilateral triangle with the sides A. Okay. And find the area of the signal board using Heron's formula. So first we have to find the area. So what is the value? Area is uh, to find the area using Heron's formula. First I have to find S. S is what? Sum of all the sides by 2. That is nothing but 3a by 2. What is the area of triangle? Is nothing but root of S into S minus A, S minus B, S minus C, where A, B, C are sides of the triangle. Okay. This becomes S is nothing but 3 by 2 A. Or let's take A dash here just to avoid confusion. A dash, B dash, C dash. Okay. Three by two A S minus A dash is what? Three by two A minus A dash is what? All A dash is equal to B dash is equal to C dash is equal to A. All the sides are A minus A. Again S minus B, 3 by 2 minus B dash is what? Again A. Again S, that is 3 by 2 A minus C dash. What is C dash? C dash is also A. Why I took A dash, B dash, C dash? Because A already I have used a variable here. So assuming the sides are A dash, B dash and C dash. Okay. So you saw this. This becomes 3 by 2a, this becomes a by 2, a by 2 and a by 2. Okay, so this is nothing but root 3 by 4 a square, that is the area. Now the question is, if the perimeter is 180, what will be the area? So perimeter is what? 3a is 180 and this a is 60 centimeter. So if a is 60 centimeter, what is the area? So root 3 by 4 into a square that is 60 square and then unit will be centimeter square. So you solve this, you get 900 root 3 centimeter square. Correct? So the general formula is for a triangle, if you see the area comes out to be root 3 by 4 a square using Heron's formula. Using other calculations also, you have, we have seen that the area comes out to be root 3 by 4 a square. If we know the value of a, that is 
we can find if the value of parameter is given we can actually find the value of a the whole parameter is nothing but a plus a plus a and that is 180 given so with that we got the value of a to be 60 centimeter you could just place the value of a in this equation and get the area of this particular triangle thank you visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos you can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website you can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website thanks a lot for watching